this is an absolutely fantastic fantasy movie. And considering this is based off of several books that they squeezed into one film, it doesn't feel overstuffed or confusing. The world building is quite imaginative. And yes, we've seen creatures like fairies and goblins before, but the designs and rules for these creatures in this movie are unique. And there's also some pretty solid performances in this film, especially Martin Short and Seth Rogen, who lend their voices to two of the fantasy creatures in this film, and they're some of the best parts of it. Seth Rogen is probably the most hilarious part of this movie, and Martin Short is a pretty fun character as well. The villain? He's also really well done. He's a shape-shifting ogre, and when you first meet him, he's disguised as an old man, and there are also hints throughout the film that he may be spying on our three main kids at any time, making his presence constantly felt throughout the film. This is a great family film for all ages, and the CGI still holds up. Even though this movie came out in 2008, it still looks just as good as when it came out, and dare I even say, it looks probably even better than a lot of films that come out now. Kids will enjoy the different fantasy creatures and the exciting adventure story, and adults may even be captivated as well. There's something for everybody in this film, but the one thing about this movie that doesn't really make sense to me is kind of near the end where the villain disguises himself as the main character's strange dad. But how did he know what the dad looked like? He never saw any photos of him, and he certainly never had opportunity to figure out what he looked like. So that's one plot hole that kind of irks me, but it's a nitpick. But this is definitely a fun adventure worth escaping to. spider man Chronicles movie is fantastic, and I'm kind of excited to see what Disney Plus does with the show. Somehow the rights changed hands from Nick to Disney, and I'm curious how that happened. But the show is supposed to come out sometime, like, next year, so I'm kind of excited to see what they do and maybe compare the two when that comes out. So for me, the spider man Chronicles movie gets an A-, 9 out of 10, and 4 out of 5 stars.